Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. So in this video, we are going to discuss everything about chemistry and strategy to score 150 plus in chemistry. I have also created a playlist for neat preparation strategy. So you can definitely check it out that too. And for now, let's begin with this video. Chemistry is no doubt a bit challenging, but it's also a scoring subject and chemistry is the only subject in NEET which has lots of bonus topics which carries around 16 to 20 marks. Now what are those topics? So I'll share the list of those topics later in this video, but for now let's discuss each part of chemistry separately which is physical, organic and inorganic. So there are 12 chapters in physical chemistry, 9 chapters in organic chemistry and 9 chapters in inorganic. So we can say physical chemistry carries 40% and organic and inorganic carries 30-30%. So physical chemistry is more important. Now let's see how to prepare for physical chemistry. Physical chemistry is that part of chemistry that needs theory understanding plus numerical practice. Now the question is how to study. The very first thing is book selection. So it's very important to get the right books. So you must be having your coaching modules. If you have your coaching modules that is well and good but if you don't have a coaching modules you can go for mtg's fingertip and ncrt that's it in mtg's fingertip book you'll get the inside notes and formula chart for revision and for concept learning you have your ncrt to practice questions you can use this app called memoneet in this app you'll get mcqs phillips match order type previous year and diagram based questions so this app is actually very helpful i personally have used this app during my preparation that you guys know and i have already talked about this app in few of my previous videos as well but still if you guys don't know about this app so memonit is really very helpful app for neat aspirant it has line by line ncrt questions test series for physics chemistry and bio and this app is now available in hindi and english also it has almost 300 plus assertion reasoning and multiple statement questions for biology 30,000 questions that comes with special revision algorithm each questions you practice in memo neat appears in regular interval like first day third day fifth day in fibonacci series and only move to next level of the memory if you answer it right for chemistry they have a unique feature to practice formula and named reactions it has two sections for chemistry which is physical chemistry formula and organic name reaction in this section every formula is taken and divided into three questions first is flashcard type to read and memorize the equation second is match the element to match with right expansions third is jumbled word questions where you have to figure out the right formula or equation from a group of jumbled words same kind of formula section is available for physics formula you can learn the formula using that section and come back to practice questions using this revised formula section memonite physics has video lectures of all important topics and you can find 30 plus years of pyq with video solutions for each pyqs two similar pyq questions are framed to help you recognize and recall the work method also in this need 2022 94 out of 100 in bio 40 out of 15 chemistry and 30 out of 15 physics questions came from memonite app these questions were either similar or directly came from the app you can check the proofs in their app memonite test series is so unique it is 100 percent ncrt based you can solve subject wise unit wise full length test series for unlimited times just at 1999 if you want to use this amazing app for your preparation use my code priya 300 and get rupees 300 off the link of this app is given below in description make sure to check it out organic chemistry indeed forms a greater chunk of the chemistry part and the key to master in organic chemistry involves time consistency doing problem and focusing on understanding the concepts also remember organic chemistry is basically applicable part of your overall knowledge on chemistry and this part of chemistry is actually time consuming so initially your speed of progress will be slow unlike the other subjects where you maintain a uniform speed of learning but once your basics are clear the speed of your learning process will gradually start increasing before starting organic chemistry your concepts of chemical bonding must be clear also build a solid foundation from the start and remember to start from the beginning try to focus more on understanding not just 
always try to memorize the concepts ncrt must be at your fingertips before you start referring to any other book or solving questions you can even use the memonite app for revision and quick flashcards the most important thing to remember is substrate reagent and product this solves all the major chapters and once your basics are clear everything is just factual and easy to understand so try to do as many mcqs as possible and organic chemistry is a volatile subject so you need to revise organic chemistry regularly in organic chemistry plays a very vital role in neat as a large chunk of questions are asked from inorganic i know inorganic is boring but it gains more significance due to the fact that majority of us tend to skip the portion because we find it boring and difficult to remember but if you have a grip over it then you will surely have an extra edge over others almost every questions of inorganic is from ncrt so for scoring good in chemistry you should mug up inorganic mostly from ncrt now we all know inorganic is not a conceptual subject it is a theoretical subject so it's better to focus on revision and practice questions do not try to find logic in inorganic so read ncrt again and again thoroughly and try to learn organic names now how to read inorganic so first of all break the topics and make the aim for one topic per day the aim for one day should be short now read twice or thrice the entire content of that particular topic so that you can memorize most of the things now reread the topic after 30 minutes then 1 hour and so and so just keep revising and reading the same thing so that your brain grasp it as an important stuff and shift it from temporary to permanent memory in this way you won't forget even a small line that might prove important in your exam also no reference book is required for inorganic just read everything from ncrt and solve pyqs and questions from the memonite app and don't forget to solve ncrt's back exercise questions they are really helpful especially for pd and f block now few things that you have to keep in your mind is first thing is in chemistry visualization is important unless you can visualize each and every page of ncrt you have to keep revising the same book again and again second thing is read understand memorize and repeat you never skip a single line of bio ncrt then why not with chemistry too just read and try to memorize and then repeat the same thing third is do periodic table trends very sincerely all groups and periods do the chapter periodic property with dedication because this chapter is literally in all concepts do electronic configuration with more focus you should know which element is present in which group and period by looking at its configuration and lastly don't forget to learn the exceptions and that's it for today i hope this video will help you and i hope you enjoyed if you have any video suggestion or if you want to ask me anything do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to check it out the memonite app and i'll see you all on my next video till then bye bye and stay safe